Hello people, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2007 exam. It's for two marks. So I'll read out the statement, then we'll be solving it. A hard disk system has following parameters. Number of tracks is equal to 500. Number of sectors per track is equal to 100. Number of bytes per sector is given as 500. The time taken by head to move from one track to adjacent track is 1 millisecond. Rotational speed is 600 rpm. What is the average time taken for transferring 250 bytes from the disk? Okay, so let's try to solve this one. There's one interesting line mentioned in the question. It says time taken by head to move from one track to adjacent track is 1 millisecond. That means they haven't specified the seek time directly, but you can calculate the seek time from this information. They are saying for moving across one track, you require one millisecond. But we don't know how many tracks do we need to cross because we don't know the exact track numbers that are to be accessed. So what we are going to do is we'll be finding the average number of tracks that will be crossed. There are two extreme cases. One extreme case is you, one extreme case is you don't need any seek time at all. For example, this is the track, this one that CPU has requested. Okay, you need some data from this track. And there's a possibility that head is already on this track. So no seek time is required. This is an extreme case or the best case. Another possibility is you are on the outermost track and the data is requested from the innermost track. So in this case, you will have to cross 499 tracks because there is a total of 500 tracks. So you will cross 499 tracks to the reach to reach the innermost track. Don't say it's 500 tracks because we are already on the first track. This one will not be counted. Okay, so total is five, uh, 499. So let's find the average movement. One case is you need a uh, you need no movement. Second case is you might require 499 movements. Okay, one movement for each track. To find out average, you'll divide it by two. Or you can also do it in another way. What you can do is Take all the possibilities, zero movements, one movement, two, three, so on till 499 and just take its average. Okay. Add all the readings, take their average by dividing uh, this sum by total number of readings. Okay. Both of these will leave, uh, lead to the same result. So let's see what the result is going to be. It will be. 250 minus half 249.5 so these many movements will be required we need to move 240 move across 249.5 tracks on an average movement across one track requires one millisecond this means in average case you might take 249.5 milliseconds of seek time Okay, so we have calculated the seek time. They have given us the RPM, that is the speed at which platter is rotating. Let's convert this RPM or let's try to find out the rotational delay from RPM. You are given that speed is 600 RPM, which means 600 rotations in 60 seconds. Okay. One rotation will take 60 by 600 seconds. This comes out to be 1 by 10 second, which is also 100 milliseconds. Okay, so one rotation requires 100 millisecond. Let's find out the average uh, rotational delay. Average rotational delay, as you know, is for half rotation. Half rotation will require 50 milliseconds. Okay, because of full rotation requires 100 milliseconds. So half rotation will require 100 by 2, which is 50 milliseconds. 
Why are we considering for half rotation only? Because this will be the average case. In some cases, you might require no rotation at all. In some cases, you might need to rotate the entire platter once. So average case will be no rotation plus one rotation divided by two, which is half rotation. Now you very well know seek time and the rotational time. So now let's try to find out the transfer time. They're asking what is the average time taken for transferring 250 bytes from disk? Let's try to find out the transfer time for 250 bytes. You can see that in one rotation, in one complete rotation, how much data can be transferred? Let's find it out. One rotation means we are transferring everything from an entire track. Say your head is here, it's pointing here. After one complete rotation, you will read the entire track. Reading entire track means reading 100 sectors. Okay, reading 100 sectors means reading 100 into 500 bytes because, because each sector is 500 bytes. So in one rotation, you can read this much of data. This also means in 100 milliseconds, you can read this much of data because one rotation takes 100 milliseconds. Okay. So this will be in 100 milliseconds. Now let's find out how much time will be required for 250 bytes. So for 250 bytes, you can see 250B, this will be 1 by 2. This will be 1 by 2 milliseconds. Okay. Now from here, you can calculate the total time taken. The formula for total time taken is seek time plus rotational time plus transfer time. Add all these three and you will get your answer. So 249.5 plus 0.5 will be 250. 250 plus 50 is 300. So total time will be 300 milliseconds. I am repeating the formula. It's the total time is equal to seek time plus rotational time plus transfer time. Okay, so your answer is 300 milliseconds.